Hey everybody, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 10 of Don Machi, and this episode, I mean, it's sure it didn't have like some crazy ass, like, oh it did, but not like crazy as that one episode where Bell fought that, you know, Minotaur, but this episode was still really, really good. Like, I really enjoyed it, um, showing off like how much harder these upper levels are, these middle floors, as they call it, are. And really, it showed, like, this new group. Um, I forget what his name is. Take, I think. His um, is another god, Hestia knows. And his um, familia went in there, and it turns out it was too much for them. I'm um, sure it was kind of weird, but, of course, this is the beginning of the, um, the middle levels, so that's why there's, like, these funny things. And then, of course, the, the uh, hellhounds things, too. And we see some cool fighting with Bell and, you know, the rest of the group. But the thing is, um, the Take's Familia, their group, ends up running away because they're one of their guys is hurt, so they have to run out. And they do the most dickhead thing. They literally just run through, making that the monsters that are following them attack Bell them. And Bell them get completely surrounded and get, like, almost killed, pretty much. And the only way for them to get out, really, because um, they're pretty much all hurt, is to go lower, to the 18th level, pretty much. 18th floor, because that is a safe zone. Um, the no monsters spawn there, so I guess that's pretty cool that there's some safe zones. But um, they have to get th go through, you know, low, you know, more into the dungeon, which is more dangerous. So, yeah, I don't know. Not a good idea, but, I mean, they can't go back, because that's when... They would have to, you know, they wouldn't all make it out. So, um, Hestia them do find out, and she ends up being, we see Hermes, this new, this other god, I guess, that is introduced, and him and his, one of his familia is going into the dungeon. You know, they're going to help Hestia and this, their ragtag group, pretty much. Like, just got a couple people, barely that much people. And, of course, gods aren't supposed to go in there, but Hestia and Hermes are still going in there to go help, you know, Bell them. Um, there is an awesome, like, literally just an awesome battle scene with, um, you know, Bell with his two daggers killing this middle tar. It's like, oh, man, before he had hard time, this time he just kills that one like that. And he grabs a weapon and then uses, you know, his new skill that makes it so he can one hit, pretty much the one hit of Quidda, pretty much. And just pff, takes out, like, three of them, like, a whole bunch of stuff go down. He, but the problem with that is... He is now looks like super weak, and I don't know if he's gonna be able to move. Like he's gonna be need help to move, and they are all hurt already. So I do not know what they are gonna do. You know, they're gonna have to wait literally for Hestia them. And another thing is in that um, at the very end, it shows Hestia's group um, going in. Hestia with glasses is cute, by the way, of course. <laughs> but um, the the one girl that works at the the inn or bar, whatever, that place that Bell goes to with um, Sidir, Sir, Sir, I don't know, I forgot how to say her name. Um, the elf one that she's that's with her, the green hair one, she actually, of course, is going in as well. Because, of course, she used to be an adventurer and looks like maybe she's part of Hermes Familia before. I'm not too sure, but she is going in and her outfit looks badass. I was like... Damn, I love those half masks that her kind of like a leaf hood thing was pretty badass, pretty sexy down here as well, and badass. And it was just like, oh, dang, we're gonna see her, you know, do some action because we saw, you know, she spoke before that she used to be an adventurer, so now we maybe we'll get more info on why she stopped and stuff like that. And we'll get to see the rest of that group try and make it down to save Beldem. And we get to see is Beldem gonna be able to get to the 18th floor. Or is something going to happen where the, the group ends up coming to save them, you know? But overall, I enjoyed this episode. It was like, whoa, what the heck, you know? Like, full on just... Not Bell... I mean, we did see Bell being a badass, but... It looks like the chance of them not making it out, you know? Like, them gaining serious damage. And, you know... I don't know, man. I don't know. It was just like, what would I do in that? I guess I would just go down as well and try and get through to that level but that is so crazy but that battle bar you gotta admit amazing 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 and now we'll get to see this new group 
you know, this new people, some Takis people, Hestia, Hermes, Hermes, that the um, one of it, the girl and his familia, who I guess she's super strong because she can, you know, defend them against stuff. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Overall, I cannot wait to see how this the next episode ends up being. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Animal Kingdom discussion and review. That's all I really got to say about the episode. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And till next time, guys, I hope we get another you know big action scene. Because so far, that one Don Machi gave us, and then this one was still pretty badass. Like, oh my gosh, I want to see more of that. Like, seriously, what the heck? <laughs> So, till next time, guys. See ya.